Oops. I'm doing something different tonight. Something, something I haven't done before ever. Actually, again, that kind of means different. I guess it's different to me anyway. As you guys know, I absolutely adore photography. Photography means a so, means so much to me. I love it. It's brilliant. It's stuff. And I have been given the opportunity to go and take part in a boxing match. Not like you know, actually take part in it take pictures of it. I probably should have explained that better rather than saying that I'm taking part in it. I'm an idiot. I'm quite nervous about it though because I've never actually done anything like that before but new experiences and I'm getting paid for it as well which is good. We were four guys that uh, I met Paul said do you want to join the band? You know? And then George joined. And then Ringo John, we were just a band who made it very, very big at all. You know when you go walking for a while and you realise that you're lost but you're in a nice place? Well I'm lost but I'm in a nice place. I'm in a place really close to home but I've never ever been here before. It's quite a big open space, good for this sort of thing, it's good for having a pee, it's brilliant, it's lovely. Anyway, let's talk about April shall we? April was quite a weird month for me, it wasn't, I'm lying to you, it was an average month. I don't know why I said it was weird, ignore me. Don't, it, oh. I started off my April in Cornwall, in St Ives, the same place I was in at the start of March, but yeah, just coincidence I guess. My dad had an exhibition down there, and the exhibition was lovely, it was really nice. It was good to see him showing off his artwork, which is something that I always want to encourage him to do, because his artwork is absolutely fantastic. So that happened, and then I went back to Essex, and then I went to a boxing match, which is something that I don't often do. Then a few days after that, I went to a football game, which is something that I do quite a lot because I work in football, but you know. In April I made two videos, one of them was really controversial and the other one wasn't controversial, it actually got me quite a few subscribers which I'm very 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 thankful for. I'm going to talk about the controversial video first of all, it was basically about Zalfi. Now I've realised now not to talk about those two because their fan base is so big <clears throat> and I've apologised on Twitter, I've apologised on YouTube and it's one of those things where I feel guilty for making it but at the same time I don't because I was just speaking the truth and speaking my opinion and that's something that YouTube deserves you know YouTube is a very very flattering place sometimes and it's very very easy to just to pander and I guess patronize people and that's something that I don't want to do on my channel because it's just not fair you guys are adults most of you you guys deserve you know the truth you guys deserve to be have honesty thrust upon you. Speaking of honesty, I made a video towards Savannah Brown and it went really well. 12,000 views is a lot of views for me. It's my third highest viewed video I think right now, which is 
it's incredible. Obviously I didn't make it for the views, I made it for the, you know, the interaction. When I was making it, I had no idea to actually see it, but she saw it and she enjoyed it, which is just, it's so rewarding basically. Again, I want to say sorry for the selfie video, it just, it just wasn't cool. But at the same time, I was speaking my opinion and if my opinion hurts people, then, you know, yes, it was jealousy. Yes, it was just bitterness. If you haven't got anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I need to learn that. I also made a video about depression, which is something that I kind of, I feel proud of myself for making that video. Um, it was really simplistic and it was honest, which again is important, very definitely important because honestly, there's nothing worse than watching a video that is fake and I wanted it to be as real as possible because depression is a real thing. It's not something that's just in movies, it's not something that's just in, that's just on Tumblr. It's a very real thing and it affects so many people, not just my age, older than me as well, like 40s, any age really, any age at all. Talk about your depression, talk about your mental health because it's really important. People will listen, I promise you. Here is a montage of stuff I got up to this month. Enjoy. Film me get run over by a car. <laughs> I really enjoyed this month. Again, I've just I've just been enjoying life recently. I've had a bit of a couple of depressing moments, but you know I'm only human after all. I'm happy that I've made it this far. That sounds really, really like, you know, dramatic, but genuinely. There were some moments in previous months and previous years where I felt like I was just gonna end it, honestly. Cause I was so down, you know, the, the period of time after my mum died up until now, I've had at least three proper serious thoughts to myself thinking I could just end it, but I'm not going to. I made a video called, It's Time To Say Goodbye. By far my favourite poem I've made so far. It effectively is a love letter. It's a goodbye letter to my old lens. But symbolically, the video can be about YouTube. The video can be about my ex-girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend's slut. You know, it could be about anything. And in a way, it can be about my life. It could be like a suicide letter. Obviously that's really, really deep and dark. And I'm pleased that some people actually realized it was mainly actually about my old lens. Yeah, I did kiss it at the end, you know, I did that thing when I, yeah. I am, um, I'm sorry if that was a bit of a clickbaity title. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love making these like month, mashup video things. It's a test of my editing, it's a test of my musical knowledge, a test of video angles, all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> you know, this month I've got a new lens, I've got a new microphone, I've got a new gorilla pod thing. Gorilla, it's, it's like a little thing that you tie to trees and it keeps your camera there. You're actually in a tree right now, tree right now watch this. See? Yeah, that's a tree that was. I'm an idiot. Anyway, listen, Thank you very much for watching, I love you all and I'll see you next month but also never upload the next video or whatever. Alright guys, love you, goodbye.